What's up guys, Adam Saxon here from Guy in a Cube with another roundup. We had some big announcements come out yesterday, but I also wanted to take a look at the last week and share some things that I thought were interesting that I want to share with you. So let's dig in. Marco Russo had a blog post where he looks at using and optimizing direct query with Power BI and analysis services. This ties into a white paper that he and Alberto Ferrari recently published on direct query itself. Lately, I've been going to a lot of conferences and SQL Saturdays and meeting up with folks, and we get into discussions about direct query, performance, impacts of using that, and people thinking about using it and things they need to look out for directly ties into this white paper. This white paper is gold. If you're using direct query or looking to get into direct query for your production environments, you need to read this and understand it. So there are definitely some great use cases for direct query, but there's also some impact that you may have in your environment and just things you need to expect when going into it. Marco and Alberto have been looking into direct query over the last year, and really this is just coming from their experience, observations, and discussions with the product team, and just sharing that out with you. So again, if you're using direct query or you're looking to use direct query, be sure to check out this blog post and white paper. One question that I'm commonly asked about is, I'm new to Power BI, where do I start or where do I go to find information? The Excel Club has posted a blog post that will help you with this answer. They've put together kind of different areas of BI or Power BI and listed some common blogs and YouTube channels that you can use as resources to help you get up to speed if you have questions about certain topics. This is not an exhaustive list, and I'm actually gonna be looking at doing a video that talks about if you want to learn and get started with Power BI, where can you go and what can you find? This is a great list with a lot of great resources and people, so if you're looking for just a list of things you can go use as resources, check out this blog and take a look at what's inside. I mentioned there was a big announcement yesterday, and that is that SQL Server VNX has an official name, and that is SQL Server 2017. CTP2 was released yesterday, so you can go ahead and download that. And as part of that, there were some updates for analysis services. I know your next question is gonna be, well, what about reporting services? There were not any updates specifically in CTP2 for reporting services. Stay tuned on that, there is stuff coming. But for this post, I'm gonna focus on analysis services. There were a lot of updates in this blog post and a lot focused on developers themselves. And two big items that I saw in this post were, one was a new Power Query data source update and the new DAX editor inside of SQL Server data tools. So like I said, you can go and download CTP2 today and also make sure that you update SQL Server data tools to the latest release. And I have links to this post along with the other posts that I'm talking about today, including some bonus links down in the description below. So be sure to go check that out. Out on the Power BI blog, there was a post about how Microsoft is using Power BI to run our cloud business. This really focused on the BAPI organization of which Power BI, Microsoft Flow, Power Apps, and some other applications are a part of. And this is run by James Phillips. And it really looks at the main executive dashboard that's used and all of the KPIs that are available and how that data was structured. So it's an interesting look into a very large organization and how we're using Power BI for real day-to-day -day operations. What I also thought was interesting is kind of a little story about how the dual KPI custom visual came about. And it was really for this purpose. And that is now shared out with you in the community. In the April release of Power BI Desktop, we had a new preview feature release, and that is the Power BI Service Live Connection. It's a preview feature, so you have to enable the preview feature. It's not gonna be on by default. And when you do, when you go to get data, you will see Power BI Service listed as a data source. And what this means is you can actually just use a data set that's up in the Power BI Service as your data set. So you don't have to do anything for pulling in data or modeling or shaping or anything like that. If there's a data set already out there that you want to build a new report on, you can use it. I was speaking at an event yesterday and there was a person in the back who, when I mentioned this feature, his face lit up in exuberation and his comment immediately was, this is gold. And really this empowers you to reuse data sets that are already published to Power BI. 
So now you can separate operations. Someone can be in charge of data sets and shaping and modeling the data and getting that curated right. And then another person can be, hey, I'm the report person and I can just create those reports on a data set that someone already put together and I don't have to worry about that at all. I just wanna make the cool visuals and that's the fun part, right? So be sure to enable the preview feature, give it a whirl and let us know what you think. Okay, which item was your favorite or did you have something that I didn't mention that you thought was interesting? Go ahead and leave that down below in the comments. For me, it is the Power BI service data set that I can now connect to in Power BI Desktop by far. I, I am excited about the analysis services updates that have come out, but connecting to an actual data set is exciting. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.